Good morning! I'm gonna turn on some lights with my foot. <laughs> it is like 10 o'clock in the morning, which doesn't sound that early. Sorry, it's actually 10.38. However, I have been in bed sleeping since like 7 o'clock last night. Um, I definitely was sleeping off my COVID vaccine. Um, I feel good today though. I think I was also just tired, you know, like I'm always trying to catch up on sleep when I have days off and, um, my arm does hurt today. I can feel exactly where the shot went in. Like exactly. It feels like somebody punched me in the arm is what it feels like. I don't know what I expected, what kind of soreness for it, that I thought it would feel like, but it literally feels like someone just punched me in the arm. I'm on call today, and um, yesterday I looked at the list, because we get a list of the order that they're going to call people out. So some people are good for only one day, some people are good for two days, some people three, four, and it goes like that. And then there's other criteria that go into making the order. I, because it's the end of the month, so there's two days left of the month, so everybody on the list is only good for two days. I am good for four days. I'm the only person on the list. So I was like, if there's even one three-day trip or four-day or whatever, it's going to go to me. So I set my alarm for five in the morning thinking 100% there's going to be a trip on my schedule by the time I get up and I'm on call at 5 a.m. And there was nothing. So I just like kept going back to sleep. I mean, and you guys, I was actually sleeping. It wasn't like I was just laying here. I mean, there were part like I watched some episodes of Schitt's Creek and whatever. But like for the most part, I was sleeping. I can't believe it. So anyways, then right now I was laying here like, oh man, I, it's 1041. I can't believe I haven't got called yet. And then I'm like, maybe they're purposefully splitting up the trips and only two days to give them to people. I don't know. And then right as I was thinking that I got a trip, but listen to my trip. It took me looking at it for a couple of minutes because there's only one layover. If there's only one layover. It means it's a two day trip. Usually when you're like, you know, just looking at it and because they've all been two day trips, I just thought, Oh, they just got down to my number. So now I'm just going to get a two day trip. Well, it's not, it's a three day trip. All right. Tonight, my flight leaves, so I have to be, my sign-in time is at 6.20, 18.20. So 6.20, which it's 10.42 now, so that's amazing. And it's out of JFK, which is amazing. One leg from JFK to Austin, Texas. Then I'm laying over there for over 31 hours. <laughs> and Austin, doesn't Austin have um, voodoo donuts? Oh, grrr. That's all I'm saying. 31 hours in Austin, Texas. And then the last day on May 2nd, it's three flights back. Okay, so I'm still just sitting around the van. It is so windy today that the van is like shaking. I can't even have my fan vent open because it's like going to blow right off. So, I want to make chili because I need to meal prep a little bit for my trip. So I bought this stuff to make chili and then I have like hummus and carrots, oil-free hummus. And, um, and then I have asparagus and broccoli I can make. But anyways, long story short, I'm letting my car run. It needs to run. I need like a good three or four hour drive to get it back up to a hundred. But right now I'm just letting it run for a while because I'm going to be gone for another three days. And then on my next set of days off, I'm going back home to Minnesota so I can't just drive it. Otherwise, I would just like drive it to Connecticut or Pennsylvania or something just to get a charge on it and, you know, change of scenery. But I don't really have that opportunity right now. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm just going to dig my pot out. I've got all my beans. All I need to do is really heat it up. There's not really much else to do with the chili making. And then maybe some rice. It's just because I'm going to Cancun the day I come back. I can't bring more food than I can eat, really. I mean, I guess if it's cooked, it's fine. But it's just a headache I prefer not to deal with. So, and I spent all day yesterday looking for a coffee grinder. A beans grinder at like home goods and stuff and I couldn't find one so I need I guess I'm gonna have to go to like Target when I'm home or something that's great what's your news <laughs> well a little bird chirped in my ear about your singing group you mean the jazz again okay chili is cooking I'm still not a hundred percent sure how I'm gonna transport it but I have this from my groceries. I bought soup, so I'm gonna rinse that out and use that. And then I have, woo, oh, I almost fell. Then I have these, oh my gosh, I cannot like, just be up straight. They're, I have different sizes. This one's small, but they're rubber, they're reusable, and I think they're watertight, hopefully. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to have to use these and then I can't clean them in my hotel rooms because they're hard to clean in the van with not a lot of water going on here. So yeah, so I'm going to do that and then I think I might saute up some asparagus or something right now just to have. I don't know. Maybe I'll bring that too. Yeah. All right. It's like 520. So I'm just like getting my stuff together. I'm going to head to the airport just a little bit early so I can go to the bathroom and you know chill out before I have to work I think it's gonna be kind of a long flight Austin's a little bit further than Dallas from New York so I feel like it's gonna be three hours or more than three hours which you know I don't love night flights but that's fine one I'd rather just do one leg and be done so I don't hate it but you guys I wanted to show you so Oh, my arm still hurts. <laughs> I wanted to show you this because I bought this because it's two and a half gallons to add it to my uh, fresh water tank. There we go. So I bought it to add it to my fresh water tank because instead of having to buy just separate gallons, which by the way, would have been easier as far as just adding it. But for whatever reason, now my uh, water pump is leaking. And I'm going to be perfectly honest, I didn't have the patience and or like care to discover exactly what is leaking. I just saw that it was leaking water and I was like, okay. And because I have this thing, I was fortunate it has like the little spout on it. So now the water flow isn't great because it like needs an air source so like if you poked a hole in it I think you would get a good flow of water however um I just want to show it because I had to do my dishes like that and um and I just got done brushing my teeth for work and stuff and honestly I like it better than having the water pump water system so much better. And I want to share that for people doing their van builds. Um, and I know I say this all the time, but I still need to film a video on things I would change. And I'm definitely putting that in there. Um, I'm just going to keep using this until, uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to have time and patience and everything to deal with that. I might get rid of the fresh water tank completely and just have more storage. And then just use this on my counter. And it's only, you know, it's smaller. And all the water, like it's halfway gone. Most of that I dumped into the fresh water tank, which I'm not even going to be using. So, yeah, I don't know. And then you can drink it. It just, I definitely see a value in this. The question I think would be if you're going through a van build, like how to secure it while you're driving or whatever. And, um, so I could see why that would be somebody's issue, but let me tell you, I'm like, why did I think I needed this big fancy system? Anywho, that's what I'm doing. 
I have put my chili. I already packed my lunchbox, so I just brought carrots, broccoli, and my hummus. Lots of it. Two tubs of oil-free hummus, and then um, a tub and a baggie of chili. And I think that might be it. Good morning. We're in Austin, Texas, somewhere downtown. I'm gonna set this down. I'm trying this new thing with my hair today because I was feeling fun. It's not a new hairstyle. It's just new for me. I feel like I've seen, I've seen the young kids doing this little pigtail ponytail thing. I don't know. Maybe they're not close enough together. I don't know. Whatever. I thought it was fun. I'm literally just going it's so bright out. I'm just going to head to Voodoo Donuts now because, did I mention we're in Austin, Texas? I think I did, but we're in Austin, Texas. I'm going to head to Voodoo Donuts. I'm pretty sure I can walk there. And the sun is out now, but you guys, it's going to storm all afternoon and all night tonight. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to really go do anything. I thought, because I'm here, I was here last night. I'm here all day today. And I leave the hotel at 5.55 in the morning. So I have to wake up at like... 3.55. I give myself two hours just to be safe. Well, that sucks. They supposedly opened at 8 a.m. according to everything on the internet. I mean, I guess I didn't look at their Instagram or Facebook and I should have, but they don't open until 10. It's 9.25, so I'm like, maybe there's another place I can just get a coffee? Because I walked all the way here, it's not that far, but it feels a shame to walk just all the way back. So I don't know, I guess I'm just going to walk and see if there's like something else. I see a Starbucks. I was hoping for something a little more local. In the collection than Starbucks, but hey, at this point, I'll take what I can get. It is so hot, and it looked like it was cold and dreary, so I wore a turtleneck. Instant regret. I'm sweating, and it's so humid because it's just been raining on and off for days. But it's nice not to be cold, I'll, I'll say that. And I think I had the air on in my hotel room so cold, so I just like thought it was gonna be cold. And we're officially scratching that idea because the line was insanely long. So I am, I'm just gonna go find some sort of local coffee place. And if I don't find one before 10 a.m., then I'll just go back to my donut shop. <laughs> oh, and a coffee cart. This isn't what I was looking for, but it shall do. an iced latte with um, what kind of non-dairy milk do you have? Um, we have soy, almonds, coconut, um, we also have non-fat. I'll just do coconut. Yeah. Medium, please. Coconut. Okay, thank you. cute little place and it's busy. Like lots of people are coming here. I'm literally just hanging out waiting for Voodoo Donuts to open. <laughs> Still 10 more minutes. Okay, well now I'm irritated <laughs> because they had no vegan donuts. And the line, like I waited for so long and 
the poor girl working had no clue about anything. So she literally was like, well, and I'm like, well, when are they going to be done? Like, I want to come back and get them. It's like the only highlight for me of coming to Austin. And she was like, well, I don't know, maybe sometime after 12. I'm like, that is so strange that like you're famous for having vegan donuts yet you wouldn't have them before, like during breakfast time. I don't know, whatever. First world problems, I know. I'm just really sad because I've literally been like waiting. I literally got out of bed just to come and get them. Oh my gosh, I just saw birds attacking a poor man. The new game plan is we're going back to the hotel, gonna work out, then we're just gonna see where the day takes us. Maybe I can get the donuts delivered. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, but we need to put life on hold. Because Isabel Page uploaded a new video. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Because it will ricochet. I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright. Like a ricochet. too. I don't really have anything at like the correct level for this so excuse me for the low quality. Ooh and Keith Flom's on my way to, on his way to pick up my second order. Oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh. Look okay so I only got four. Oh my gosh, should I be like that person and take a bite out of every single one? I don't plan on sharing them with anyone. So like, I really want to try them all. For some reason, the vegan maple bar is highlighted. So I thought they weren't going to have it, but it's in here. Ooh, oh my god, they're so soft. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I can just feel all my hard work at the gym just melting off. It's fine. Mm. They just taste so fresh. The only donuts I ever get are from Whole Foods. I don't ever find any other vegan donuts. And these... Are amazing imagine like you never get to have donuts and then when you get one how good it would be that's how I feel oh my gosh okay they're just so soft okay this one I was excited about this is the maple cream I like cream filled donuts mmm Cream. Cream on the inside. Mm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Very good. I don't know that it's better than just the regular maple, though. Okay, next donut. This one's called Dirt. Something dirt. I want to. I can't remember if it's. I don't know. Anyways, it's got crushed Oreos on it. I'm already full of sweets. I'm actually not like a big sweets person. I know it seems like it is, but I just like a teeny bit of sweets. So I'm just gonna have a bite of this and a bite of that one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This one tastes exactly like it looks. Like a giant Oreo. Okay, this one I think is like a peanut butter and jelly. 
I can't remember the name. It's called School Days. I think they make all of these in non-vegan versions too as well, just in case anybody cares. But it has like peanuts on this side, but I see some jelly coming out there and so I'm going in hard on that jelly. Mmm, mm-hmm. Peanut butter and jelly. Mmm. I thought this was frosting. It's literally peanut butter. Oh my gosh, this one's really good. Mm. It's sticking to the roof of my mouth. I think that one might be my favorite one because it's not as sweet. It literally tastes like I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Find myself in a relationship. I definitely We're watching Jaylena's live. And eating donuts. No matter what, but always, always, always. I am so uncomfortably full right now. And nurture and honor those relationships that I Listen have. to her. That was something I did in my yes, family. girl. Yes, yes you nurture yourself. If you don't watch Jaylena's channel, I leave her wild. Always. You're missing out, okay? My room is a mess right now. Mostly this little work desk. Oh, I was maybe gonna try and edit a video. I might try and edit this video, but I am so tired. My food coma is hitting me, but it's like the perfect time because it's 5.18. I did my live for about an hour, and then I hopped in the live chat for Jaylena's live, and it was so fun. It was one of the funnest live chats I've been in in a while. Um, Sometimes the comments are just hilarious and I love it. Anyways, and it was pouring rain out like half an hour ago. And now it's not good weather, but it's... I wish I'd been like this earlier. But now it's literally like my bedtime. And I have like white spots on where my tan was. Not that it matters because I'm not going anywhere. Because um, there was like food on my face. I think for my entire life. So there's that. I'm a classy broad. What can I say? So anyways, I think I'm going to end this video here because I'm just about to get ready to go to bed and I have to wake up at three o'clock in the morning. So I'm just going to relax. Maybe I'll get a video edited. I don't know if I can fall asleep right away. I think I'm going to let myself and tomorrow night we'll be back in New York. I have so many van videos I need to film. So hopefully when I get back, I think Antonia is going to be in New York. Yay, my best friend. So hopefully she'll help me film some stuff as well. And I'll have someone to hang out with. So should be fun. Anyways, good night. Goodbye. I love you all. And I will see you in my next video.